Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 299, looking at red, white, and blue decks here in Vintage for the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July from Seattle, Washington. I hope you guys all are enjoying yourselves and have fun tonight. When I think about red, white, and blue, there are so many different options out there. And I've got some major events coming up where I'm gonna be playing vintage. I'm gonna be out at Gen Con in Indianapolis next month. And then I'm very likely to also be at the Portland Grand Prix. It is the week after Gen Con. I'm gonna to try to make it. And both of those events have vintage tournaments. Vintage is really, really interesting right now because of both Eldrazi, which I'm not gonna talk about in this, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but may a little bit later, and Red, White, and Blue in particular in Vintage. Dak Faden has really put Red at the center of several decks, or at least as a splash color, because Dak's ability to get you to the cards that you need and occasionally take something that someone has tinkered for is really, really powerful. This is one of the most powerful Planeswalkers in Vintage right now, and it's being played in almost everything that can splash a little bit of red in there. The first one we're looking at here is Vintage Delver. As you guys know, I'm playing Bug right now in Legacy and Bug Delver in particular. Tempo has always been one of my favorite decks out there. And there's a lot of reasons to look at this deck in particular. The big one being Gush. Gush is probably the most powerful draw card that is unrestricted at this point. It just combos so well with Mental Misstep and Young Pyromancer. It should be noted, though, that this deck is missing Stifle. Stifle is a less powerful card in Vintage where you really need hard counters, and Mental Misstep is a really powerful hard counter. The tech that is in this particular list that I really like is Jory. Whenever you cast a second spell each turn, draw a card in a deck that you can cast Gush for free, tap two islands, have two man in your pool, draw some cards, and then continue to play cards. Jory can get you a significant number of extra cards in a turn. Temporal Trespass is also very interesting here. I had not even considered this in my Delver builds until I saw this come up. I will be playtesting it. I'm a little bit skeptical about the triple blue, but it's clearly worth a try. Vintage Mentor is probably the leader of the pack for popular decks, at least here in the Seattle area, that cover red, white, and blue. And what I like about this particular build is it's got a giant amount of control in it. Lots of these one and two casters that allow you to disrupt your opponents and even main deck red elemental blast and pyro blast to deal with the other blue decks out there right now. Some great cantrips like Sensei's Divining Top. And then additionally, it's got a large number of humans at the center of your win condition. Mentors and Jaces are really what you need to stick on the board to get either massive card advantage or a massive number of small creatures to attack to win. This is a little bit less like a classic control deck and more like a modern control deck where you've got a lot of control, but you also have a pretty quick win condition. If you can drop a mentor early, you're actually attacking and often racing some of those Delver decks and winning those races. I myself am a fan of two Sensei's Divining Tops in this type of deck. The deck list we saw earlier was only playing one, but Sensei's Divining Top gives you a lot of flexibility, especially if you're dealing with any type of discard, being able to play with the top of the deck and then fetch in the longer games against your control mirror matches is very, very nice. And there's some cool tricks, especially when you get a mentor out to uh, cycle top into top, that type of stuff. But the tricks aren't the reason to do it. It's that Sensei's Divining Top is a really powerful cantrip. Planeswalker Control is kind of the classic one that if I was playing about 10, 15 years ago, this would be the deck that I instantaneously built and didn't even test anything else. This is one of the top decks from the Vintage Championship in 2015. It should be noted that Dig Through Time is now restricted, and understandably so. I don't believe the deck has actually lost much with Dig Through Time leaving, and it has a lot of interesting little aspects to it. Particularly, I like the moat in here. Moat has the opportunity to deal with 
some of those ground attacking decks extremely well. Your mentors and your young pyromancers, along with the new Eldrazi threat, can be shut down by moat. Jace the Mind Sculptor is a classic strong wing condition, and Dak Faden is still extremely good, even though we're seeing a little bit less of the workshop decks now that we've seen the restrictions on Chalice of the Void. The tech that I really like in here is the Narset Transcendent. I had some really rough games against this card in the Seattle area. Uh, there's a player out here who's very strong, who's been playing it. Against your tempo type decks, this card, when it sticks, is really, really powerful. If they don't kill you right away, you're just going to take over the game. The, this is a card I'm going to be playing with, and the wonderful combo out there that was very powerful at the time this deck was created, which is Mana Drain into Dig Through Time. With Dig Through Time uh, restricted now, we need to find another target to put that extra mana into. Consecrated Sphinx as a one of seems like a great option. And if you've got any other ideas for a second target that you could put Mana Drain mana into in Vintage, please let me know. This deck is one that I'm strongly considering and I would really like any feedback from the community. Thank you guys so much, and for more enlightenment around Vintage and other Magic the Gathering formats, subscribe to the channel. The best way to support the channel is through Patreon. Thank you to everybody who's out there currently supporting the channel. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.